Hello, Stampin' Friends. Happy Movie Monday, everybody. It is Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen, and I am coming at you with an am two amazing cards today, actually, using the Flowing Flowers stamp set. So this is actually in the JJ Mini Catalog, which is available through June. So we do still have a little bit of time left to work with this one. And it's one of my favorites. It's just a stamp. There's no dies, there's no punch or anything to go with it. It's just a gorgeous stamp, makes amazing cards. I love all the sentiments, but this one is screaming Mother's Day to me as well. So if you need a great stamp to do some Mother's Day, no Mother's Day sentiment in it, but you could add, you know, I'm sure you guys all have sentiments at home. Um, and so this can be found on page 36 of the JJ January through June mini catalog. And we are gonna actually work with this uh, project right here. So first, before we get rolling though, I do wanna make sure you all are aware that we are in last chance. Our beautiful annual catalog is getting ready to leave. We have to say goodbye to this one in May. And right now, many items in that catalog are retiring, they are on sale. Many, many, many are sold out, my friends. So you can um, head down to my link. There is a shopping link in the description of this video. So if you wanna check out what is still available, this is my last chance list, you guys. I printed it off. Now, I did do a walkthrough. So if you wanna actually go back and rewatch that, that live video, you can. Grab your catalog, grab two highlighters, grab a Sharpie, and watch that walkthrough. And I actually go through page by page and visually show you what it is leaving because this is sometimes a little overwhelming. But everything in yellow, you guys, is already sold out. Mostly it is stamps and bundles. We did not guarantee stamp sets this year, my friends. So they are leaving like this every day i check the list and add more retired like already sold out stamps if you should have any questions or concerns hit me up and let me know i can answer anything for you or let you know if anything is still available so quick 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 reminder those in colors are leaving so right now if you want to protect your investment grab yourself an ink pad a re-inker um, the paper cardstock whatever it is if you already have these grab them now before it's too late because you can keep on working with them you can keep on playing no one comes and takes them from you but i can tell you just jade marvelous no magenta madness and bumblebee re-inkers are sold out they are no longer available all right guys so that's what i wanted to share with you all today so let's go ahead and do a little bit of stamping right uh you guys might be catching me on my youtube channel you all may be catching me on my facebook channel uh, my facebook page either way don't forget to like love comment and share my vid and uh, make sure you're following and subscribed. So anytime I go live or do a movie Monday, you guys will be alerted. Don't wanna miss out, right? This is important times. So let's go ahead. We're gonna make two cards today and we're gonna share uh, some coloring techniques. A lot of times I'm asked a question, how do you get two different colors or three different colors on one stamp? So there's two ways that I enjoy doing it. So I'm gonna show you those two ways today. So let's start off with a piece of basic white. This is our card base, so we'll fold that one in half. And I always put the dimensions of my projects in my description. So rather than you guys trying to rewatch or write this down, just go into the description, scroll down, and you will actually find the dimensions of everything that I cut. So if you wanna make some at home, you are more than welcome to. So let's do a piece of designer series paper here. This is Pale Papaya. This is from the Hand Penned, I think it's called, or Beautifully Penned Designer Series Paper. It is retiring, so you wanna grab that while you can. I also should make sure you guys know that I am, my April class at home is focusing on flowing flowers. So that will be released this week. So make sure you're on my mailing list so that you get a link to that virtual class because I release one every single month and it has a PDF or a video tutorial um, and it includes some product and everything you need to make some gorgeous, gorgeous cards. So that's coming out actually this week for April 2022 class at home. 
So I've got a piece of Knight of Navy here and I have a piece of basic white. So I'm gonna grab this particular stamp. Sorry about the glare, friends. And I'm gonna grab my stamp and write markers. Whoops. Actually, let me start off by stamping my sentiment. I'm gonna use this one as a happy birthday. But like I said, you could totally make this a Mother's Day card. Since Mother's Day is coming up, some of us have that on our minds. Um, you could always even use, your moms would love that one, sending a, sending a card instead of a text, and then you could do your Happy Mother's Day inside. Even time for a happy dance, and then Happy Mother's Day sentiment inside would totally work. So Night of Navy Ink, I'm not sure if I mentioned that. We did our happy birthday. Now we've got our Stampin' Write markers. These are not Stampin' Blends, two different um, products here, right? So these are your Stampin' Write markers. But I'll quick show you, here are Stampin' Blends, okay? So you can see the difference in them. One is, one is a little bit more square, one's more rounded, one's thin, one's thick. So these are alcohol-based markers. These are used for coloring. Um, and because they're alcohol, as you are coloring, they are drying very, very quickly. So it allows us to do a lot of shading and a lot of blending. This particular um, technique, I do not recommend using blends for, okay? Because these are made to dry quickly because of that alcohol. So, so you're not gonna get the look that you want. You can also damage the tips very easily of those Stampin' Blends. So you'll notice with our Stampin' Write markers, we have a thin end and a thick end. So the thin end is like a writing tip end. I never ever use it, uh, but some of you guys may. I go for the thick end, which is like a paintbrush. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sideways color. I do not color up and down like I would be writing. I sideways color and I usually go forward and backward and I'm going to add color where I want it on those leaves. Now, keep in mind as you are doing this, it is starting to dry on your, um, on your stamp and that's okay. I tend to do my dark first then I go add my light. And it's fine if it looks like it's starting to dry because we're gonna kind of re-wet it here with a technique that we call huffing. Um, that was kind of before it became like a cool drug term, but um, we are going to huff on our stamp set, our stamped, Im our, um, yeah, our stamp image, uh, and it is going to re kind of re-wet it with our uh, breath. Okay, so we got that all colored with our Knight of Navy. I'm gonna come in with my papaya, same thing, and I'm just going to carefully color in the light flower. And I'm just doing that on the side because I do wanna be careful that I'm not ruining the tip of my, of my marker. I'm gonna try and get as close down there as I can Now, when I did my sample, it was a little bit lighter than what I kind of wanted. So quickly, I'm gonna grab some cinnamon cider. This is a retiring color. I'm gonna take one of my sponge daubers and I'm just gonna put some color down here like it would be in the flower center. And I'm gonna explain about daubers here in a minute because that's the other way to get your, um, get your color. <sighs> So I just took my breath and I just huffed it right on there to kind of re-moisten anywhere that that ink had dried. And I'm gonna give it the count of three. Um, if any of you guys are Stampin' Up! demonstrators and you might remember um, a, a girl from home office named Bonnie Thurber, she would do demonstrations and she would always say you should give the count of three to let the ink transfer. And when, you, when you're counting to three in your head, you should say, Bonnie is wonderful, Bonnie is wonderful, Bonnie is wonderful. So we all kind of adopted that little mantra. Um, she's no longer with Stampin' Up, but she was such, such a fun lady when we went to um, in-person events. Remember back in the day before COVID when we actually used to get together in person as, as demonstrators and stampers? Um, anyway, so now what we're gonna do, you can see there that we have two colors, one stamp, right? So that's going to dry real quick. We're just going to add some stamp and seal here to our Knight of Navy piece. 
and attach that to our card. And that is how easy that is to get those two different colors using your Stampin' Write markers. There we go. Now I feel like maybe we need some butterflies, yes? So let's get out our brass butterflies. And I had to get two packs here because I'm starting to wind down with these. I love these. These are going to carry over into our new catalog, so yay. There we go. That is our card. It's as simple as that. So we don't want to make things too hard, right, friends? We want nice, simple, easy-peasy, mac and cheesy. All righty. Now... I want to clean this because we're going to use that same exact that same exact stamp and I need to make sure I get all of that navy off. Navy likes to stick right in those little flower cracks. Okay, so now the second way, as I kind of showed you a little sneaky peeky there with using the sponge daubers. Okay, so there are our sponge daubers. They just fit right on your fingertip, which is fantastic. I think they come in like a pack of 10 or 12. Very, very inexpensive and great for adding shading or doing this technique um, that I'm going to show you next. So um, I feel like maybe I would like a scrap of paper. There we are. We're going to use that because I don't want to, I don't want to stamp on on my desk. All right, now, the one thing with these daubers is, I do clean them and, uh, and rinse the ink out of them, but they do stain, so I don't always know what color's which, and so I do wanna make sure that I do not mix them, and so I keep them right at the ink pad that I'm going to be using. So let's grab ourselves some soft succulent for this one. And, I took another piece of soft succulent and I ran it through an embossing folder called Tasteful Textiles. This is one of my favorite embossing folders and it is retiring, you guys. So it is still available, you can grab it now, but I just love how it's very, very subtle. It just adds a little bit of texture to the background, um, but doesn't really pull away from your stamped image. So we'll add that to our card base. And again, guys, don't forget, you can hop down, scroll down in the description and you can see the dimensions of everything that I cut. So if you wanna make these at home, you can. Got a piece of basic white here. And it was toying with, on my first sample, I stamped the sentiment right on here. But then I thought, well, maybe I want it on like a little banner. Um, so let's do it a little bit different this time. And I've got this the sentiment, just a note. So I'm gonna stamp that right there. And now I'm gonna grab that stamp we just used. So I'm going to start off and I'm going to go pumpkin pie and I'm just going to pounce color right on that big flower. And I'm not really being careful where I'm putting the ink. And I also want it a little bit darker. So I'm going to pounce a little bit more ink there in the center. Then I'm going to do the little dots kind of coming off are going to be crushed curry. Now, it's okay if color starts to, to blend in. I don't get too worked up about that. Soft succulent for my leaves. So you're gonna see where maybe that color bleeds into each other a little bit, but once you stamp it, it ain't no big deal, guys. All right, I'm gonna huff again, just because it has started to dry a bit. Jody is wonderful, Jody is wonderful, Jody is wonderful. There we go two color or three colors, one, one stamp. So I'm going to keep doing that a couple more times, just pouncing that color on there with that dauber. So if you guys don't have daubers, you got to go get yourself some daubers. They are, they are great for many, many different things. Crushed curry for the dots. 
and soft succulent for my leaves. Add one more time down here. And I gotta do it a couple more times. We're gonna finish this out. So hang in there with me while we finish out all these pretty colors. Extra in the middle, so a little bit darker. More pouncing. So ideally with the Stampin' Write marker technique or the marker to, to stamp, um, you do have a little bit more control on your uh, where you place your color. With this one, they're gonna kind of bleed a little bit. So I like to have colors that um, kind of coordinate with each other. So you do have, like you can see, there's a little bit of bleed right in there. And that's, that's no worry. No one's gonna pick that apart and be like, you need to go back and make this again. Your colors bled together a little bit. I think you can do better. No one's ever going to say that. I've never had a card returned with like teacher comments on it, right? No one's ever like, oh, it doesn't work up to capacity. She could do a little bit better. <sighs> I expect more. Anyway, um, how do I want to do this? Let's, yeah. Just kind of have that come on in there. Okay, there we go. So isn't that pretty? Super, super easy. I'm gonna close these before I end up having an accident, which means putting my big fingers where they don't belong. And as I mentioned, these can get, I just run them under warm soapy water and clean the ink off. Easy peasy. Okay. So now I'm going to take some of this gorgeous ribbon. Have you guys seen this? Soft Succulent Shimmer Ribbon. This is, I literally just opened it for this card. I have not played with it yet. Can you believe it? And I'm a ribbon junkie. Um, so it is in the JJ Mini Catalog and it goes with the Crane stamp set. So if you've seen like the Asian inspired, um, <clears throat> come on. Uh, crane stamp set with the DSP. This is the gorgeous ribbon that coordinates with it, but it is going to stick with us a little bit longer. So I thought, well, let's get it out and let's play because shimmer ribbon, hello. I guess it's not really shimmer as it is, I mean, satin, I guess, and satin automatically shimmers, right? So we're just going to add this to our card base. There we go. And I'm gonna see, let's see how this looks. I think I need to trim that little notch a little bit more. So to get that notch, I use the classic tag punch. Oh, am I gonna miss this one? So all you need to do is just slide it in here. That little V at the top makes you the perfect banner. So let's do retiring guys did I say that it's leaving dag on it I fall in love with stuff and then it gots to go all right let's add that with some dimensionals I want it to stick off just a little bit I think so you can kind of really notice that notch all right so now let's do a little bit of ribbon here so we can do a knot I'm just gonna tie a knot. I'm gonna. Good, I'm not going to do a bow. It gets a little bit too thick and unwieldy for sending through the mail. Now, because it's shimmer or satiny, very slickery. It is slickery ribbon, you guys. Um, <laughs> that is slick and slippery. Apparently, mashing up words this morning. Um, I tie that bow or tie that knot real tight because it wants to kind of come undone. Then of course, we should have some butterflies, right? Some pretty butterflies floating on this one. Oh, let's do a little one down there. How about a little butterfly right there? Oh my gosh, cuteness. All right, so there we go. How about that? Two ways to, to get your, your different colors 
on one stamp, Stampin' Write Markers, Sponge Daubers. So thanks so much for joining me, guys. Don't forget to like and follow and subscribe to my YouTube channel, my Facebook page, so that you are alerted every single time I post something. You can also join my mailing list. It's down below. That way you're, oh, you're always in the moment. You know what's going on, especially because I'm going to send out information about this as my class to go for April. So it's going to come out soon. You're going to see that information. So get on the mailing list. So you'll be the first to get the registration. All right, my friends, have a wonderful, wonderful week. Visit me on Wednesday live for What's Up Wednesday on my Facebook channel and visit me every Monday on YouTube for Movie Monday. Have a good week, friends.